Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss the continuation part of the starting methods of three-phase induction motor. So, in this, we already discussed about the uh, four starters. One is DOL starter, another one is resistance starting method, another one is reactance starting method. Here, the fourth starter is the star delta starter. Star delta starter. Here, the name itself, we are using two connections that is star connection and the delta connection. So, in this session, the star connection and delta connection, it is initially it is star connected system, after that it will become delta. That means, so. So, in the starting, starting of the, in the starting condition, star connected winding, we are using a star connected supply, star connected supply. After the starting, it will move on to the running mode, that means it will be running with the rated speed, that time it is delta connected supply, it will be applied as the delta connected supply. So, by using this, by using this, whenever it is connected, star connected, then the starting current will be decreased and starting torque will be improved. Starting torque will be improved. And here also, starting current will be increased in the delta connected system and starting torque will be maintained. Starting torque will be maintained. So, for this, for this analysis, for this requirement, we are using this star delta connected starting method. So look at here. It is used in squirrel gauge induction motor. It is not in slip ring induction motor. It is particularly used in squirrel gauge induction motor. It is started in star winding running in delta winding. So it is started in star winding. Initially, it is star connected system. After that, it will be running in the delta winding. That means, here the winding means, you know, generally this winding is state R. We are applied this state R winding. This will be in the state R winding. The state R winding initially, we are using the star connected state R winding initially. And after that, it is for the starting only. It is for the starting only and it is delta connected, delta connected and and running mode. In the running mode, it is in the delta connected system. So like that. Yeah. So this will be supply. This will be some diagram. Initially, it is star connected system and after that, it will be the delta connected system. So this will be a small diagram. Okay, and this has some disadvantages. What are those? The first is large reduction in starting torque. Initially, starting torque will be due to the reduced voltage applied in the star connection system. How? Here we told that starting torque is not high, just will be a reduced voltage that will be starting torque will be the less only. So in this we have the problem large reduction in star connection system. So initial, initially it is the start. Initially it is in the star connected system. The so star connected system means what happened? Star connected system means this is R and Y and B. In this Apply voltage will become as phase voltage VL by root 3. Here, here, here the phase voltage is decreased. The phase voltage is decreased means what is the starting current? KS X2 naught by KS V R2 square R2 by S X2 square. So automatically the voltage will be decreased means the starting current will be decreased. So the reduced voltage is possible in the star connection. 
this is the, this is only the disadvantage it is used for medium size to 25 hp motors so the application is this is the application it is very good application that has it is medium size to up to 25 hp maximum size of the motor it will be useful it will be useful so this is the last last method of the screw ligage induction motor we discussed about the four things those four are only screw ligage induction motor starting methods don't forget this those are the screw ligage induction motor starting methods up to now we discussed what are those the first is the devil starter and second is the starting resistance control method and third is the starting reactance control method and starting reactance control method next uh, star delta starting control method star delta starting control method next we have the another starting methods we have induction motor basically two types one is squirrel gauge and the other one is a slip ring induction motor so we already discussed about the squirrel gauge induction motor here this is the slip ring induction motor methods what are those already we discussed about the things it is also having the dual starting method and the stator resistance starting method third is auto transformer starting method third is rotor resistance starting method so these all are having the same method this is the same as squirrel gauge induction method squirrel gauge induction motor so the same but the different thing is the here the rotor resistance control method this is the different from the squirrel gauge induction motor that is rotor resistance control method so next we will move on to the rotor resistance control method for slip ring induction motor slip ring induction motor so you know the basic purpose of the slip ring induction motor is to adding the external resistance at starting to the rotor so slip ring name itself slip ring induction motor itself adding external resistance to the rotor to the rotor through slip rings through slip rings so we have the slip rings here through the slip rings we are adding the resistances and one side is resistances another one is these resistances are shorted these all are shorted so this is the main advantage of the slip ring induction motor compared with the squirrel gauge induction motor so the main purpose the modifying the main purpose squirrel gauge into slip ring is the reason only for adding the external resistance to the rotor so this is the thing just take it this outer part is the stator and inner circle is the rotor it is having it is having the shaft the shaft consisting of the slip rings these are the slip rings these slip rings are connected through the resistances these are the resistances you can take it is ra rb or rc anything three supplies having the three resistances okay so at starting at starting so you know how it works means look at here so at starting at starting means we know that the speed will be zero the speed will be speed will be zero that time resistance external resistance rotor will be added will be added and next at running condition whenever it is in running mode then automatically speed will become the almost speed will become some speed or approximately equal to the approximately equal to the synchronous speed then 
these rotor external resistance will be removed will be removed then automatically it will rotate with that speed so by this adding the external resistances what what is the advantage it is the most important thing the advantages is the starting current of the starting current is generally decreased this is the first advantage and the second advantage is the starting torque will be improved how it improves the starting torque you know ks e2 square by r r2 ks e2 square r2 by s x2 naught square x2 naught square this is the starting torque formula when rotor resistance this will be external resistance will be added means the starting torque will be improved whenever the starting torque will be improves then automatically three phase induction motor will uh, in the less time it will reach the synchronous speed it will reach the synchronous speed this is the most important method in the in case of slip ring induction motor okay so squirrel gauge having the four method and slip ring having the four methods for the two cases the fourth method is different in the squirrel gauge induction motor we have star delta starter and slip ring induction motor we have the general itself we have rotor resistance starting method okay i hope all of you understand the session thank you